Yes, we just clocked 10,000 subscribers on the channel. First, I want to say a big thank you to every subscriber, everyone who has watched my videos, liked my videos, commented on my videos. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much for the love and the support. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Wally and I'm a data analyst based in Lagos, Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions as it relates to data analysis. A couple of days ago, I put it on my community page for you guys to ask me any question as it relates to data analysis, YouTube, live. And I got some very interesting questions and those questions are what we're going to go through in this video. If you want to jump to any portion of this video, I've placed timestamps in the description box below. So, you know, you can check it out and jump to any portion you want to jump to. Other than that, I'm ready to roll. I'm sure you're ready to roll. Let's jump in. So the first question is from Utman Abdulaziz and he says, thank you for your inspiring work so far. I'd like to ask how possible is it to get freelance gigs and remote work in data analysis as a Nigerian? Thanks very possible all you need to do is to register on upwork.com or freelance.com and you know outline your skill sets put in an application and then they would vet that application and then approve based on their requirements right and once you are approved you get put into a pool where you can then start applying for various gigs on you know the website now a couple of weeks ago i tried registering on upwork and i got rejected yeah and I don't know why I got rejected. Maybe because I didn't outline my skill set properly or maybe because I have a running employment and I probably won't be able to clock in the required hours. But whatever the case may be, the lesson there is if you're going to apply to Upwork.com, right, make sure that your skill set is laid out as convincing as possible such that anyone reviewing your application would approve it otherwise it will take you six months yes a minimum of six months to reapply again into upwork you got to make sure that your application is watertight such that once you're putting it in you get approved and then you get put into a pool of where you can get a remote work the next question is from cindy long john she says thank you for all your guide really appreciate However, I'd like to know if you have any more course recommendations as the one you mentioned in your previous videos are mostly outdated. Also, can you be my mentor? All right. Unfortunately, the ones I mentioned in one of my videos, those courses have been archived. They are Microsoft courses hosted on EDX. Microsoft is moving their courses to their own platform. So they are taking out all these courses from third party learning platforms so those courses are no more available on edx now if you check out the pinned comment in the video i put in an alternative to the microsoft excel courses it's called the ibm excel introduction to excel on also on edx so you can check that out as well it's a great alternative to to the microsoft excel courses also you asked can i be your mentor well right now i'm working on something that would take care of mentorship a lot of people have asked me you know if i am currently open to mentorship and yes i am but there's something i'm working on i'm going to share with you guys very soon it's almost done the next question is from hazel kupia and she says what countries would you recommend to work as a data analyst well i wouldn't really there's no perfect country to work as a data analyst and certainly i don't think countries even matter right you can be a data analyst anywhere it doesn't matter where you are india nigeria uk us germany whatever you are it doesn't matter you know so there's no recommended place to become to be a data analyst i'll just say you know know your environment know your country know what works there know what kind of jobs are in demand right and know what you know a data analyst job entails in your country and based on that then prepare yourself prepare your cv prepare your skill sets get the required skill sets and then apply to jobs so really as long as you like the job as long as the pay is okay to take care of you you know i think any country would would just be fine so the next question is from Tommy C. Okolola. She says, experience as a data analyst in Nigeria, the pros and cons. This is actually a fantastic question. I'm working on a 
video about this so i won't go into much details but definitely a pro would be that you know that's something that feels good about you pouring yourself into data trying to look for an insight you know about something something you're looking for an answer you know in a data and then you find the answer and then boom you know the answer to the question that you've been thinking about you find it in the data it's it's a joy that is unspeakable so that definitely is a pro people come to you for answers because you have the answers not literally but i mean if you go into the data and analyze and pour yourself into the data you might just find something so people come to you for answers which is which is great people come to you for solutions it's great what are the cons um the biggest con for me is it's very difficult to define your kpi uh so what do i mean i mean like you know when you're trying to define your kpi you know for somebody that let's say for a salesperson we know that if you meet a particular target so if you meet maybe your target is 100 sales if you meet 100 sales then you've met your target right but for a data analyst is it the number of analysis that you do that makes you meet your target or is it the quality of the analysis that you do that makes that make you you know meet your target those questions it's really difficult to set your kpi so because your role is a support role you're supporting other people to achieve their own goals so how then do you define your own kpi i think that's that's the biggest con there the next question is from ahmad abdullahi and he says what's the difference between data science and data analysis so this is also a very common question a lot of people ask what's the difference between data science and data analytics and data science so i would say let me start with data analysis data analysis is when you use historical data to try to extract some insight about what had what has happened in the past so you're looking at data to determine what happened in the past so let's say you have performance data for last year or you know financial data for last year and you're analyzing that data to see oh so what did we do well what did we do wrong that is analysis now when you take the results of the analysis and you use it to predict the future so i'm taking the performance the analysis of my you know performance data for last year and i'm applying it to predict you know this year or next year how will i perform then you've moved into the realm of data analytics because data analytics is where you start predicting using basic statistical methods like you know that's when you start using regression you know things like um standard deviation mean media mode you start using all those descriptive statistics or infer what's that thing called i forgot it to define to predict the future now data science is when instead of using basic statistics you are now using advanced statistics you're using machine learning you're using predictive modeling to predict the future future performance and all of that then you've moved into the realm of data science so it's more like they're all interconnected right there's no hard line fine line between the three of them in summary i'll just say data science is data analytics on steroids edgar j morales jr says what about things you knew before you be become data analyst so what did I know before I became a data analyst? Engineering. It was just my engineering uh, knowledge that I had. I had oil and gas knowledge. I had mechanical engineering knowledge. That's basically it. Yeah, I knew how to use some engineering softwares like AutoCAD, SolidWorks, PipeSim, and some other oil and gas softwares. But other than that, that's it. So got this question from Abdulaziz Al Sahi. He said, thanks for the great content. I'm working my way to become a data analyst, yet I do believe in the opportunities of Africa. What small businesses can non-African make in your Africa? 
Well, there's so many business opportunity in Africa that I cannot really point to and say, oh, this is a business you can do as a non-African in Africa. I think you really have to like come and spend some time in Africa to really know what are the needs of, you know, the people, what opportunities do you see, what problems can you solve. I think basically that's it. You know, it's very difficult for me as a Nigerian to define an opportunity and say that opportunity will, what would work in probably other African countries. An opportunity can work, a business opportunity might work in Nigeria and might not work in Ghana or work in Egypt or South Africa. So it really depends. Um, but by and large, you really need to come spend time with the people, mix with the culture and understand the needs of the people. Then you start to see business opportunities uh, right there. But certainly as a data analyst, you can start up a consulting firm, consult for small businesses, big businesses, um, depends on your skill. I think there are, there are plenty of opportunities here in Africa and waiting for people like you to tap into it. So. So another question from Ahmad Abdullahi, it says, do you need a master's degree or a data analysis certificate for you to be employed in Nigeria? You do not need a master's degree, but certainly you, you need to have a data analysis certificate, at least to just prove that you know what you're talking about. Okay. Some people get jobs without you know, certificates. I got my first data analysis job without any certificate on my CV, but I knew how to use Excel. And during the interview, I could prove that because they gave me a data set to work with, you know, an Excel data set to work with. And I was able to, you know, maneuver the data and analyze the data, right? So some companies might require you to have a certificate such that they are sure that you know what you're talking about, but certainly not a master's degree. All right, so salary range. Someone asks, what is the salary range of a data analyst in Nigeria? Right, a lot of Nigeria questions, but that's fine. Um, what is the salary range? So what I found is data analyst as a position is not standardized across board. So you have situations where some companies refer to data analysts as an entry level job. And then some other companies refer to data analysts as a specialist job. Okay. So there are two end of the same stick. Certainly for entry level jobs, the salary is different from a specialist salary. But what I found is for an entry level job, data analyst entry level job, then the salary is between 200,000, I'd say between 150, 200, and maybe 250, that range, between 150 to 250,000, an entry level data analyst job. While a specialist data analyst job, then we're talking of between 300 to say 500, okay? Between 300 to 500. So here there are two different ranges now. You have for an entry level job between 150 and 250 is the range there as a data analyst. Then for a specialist job, data analyst, then you have 300 to like 500. Obviously there are some other data analysts that earn above 500,000, but the way I see that is you're not a data analyst. You're probably a senior data analyst, a senior data analyst. Once you're a senior data analyst, then it's another pay package, right? I'll probably won't refer to you as a data analyst because you're our senior, right? So it is important to differentiate there. You know, there's a wide range of salary. Um, but yeah, so the next question is from Shahan Ahmed and he asks pay range as a remote data analyst would be great to hear about. So a remote data analyst, I assume you're referring to a site like Upwork or freelance.com. Like I said, I tried to register on Upwork.com and I got rejected. But while I was filling the application, 
I put in my range as between 40 to 60 dollars okay and what I found out is that is a typical range for a lot of people on upwork.com that's like the sweet spot between 40 to 60 dollars certainly if you feel your value is more than 60 dollars then by all means put it at 80 or 100 dollars per hour so the last question here says please what other ways can someone reach you aside you yes you could reach me on email you could also drop me a comment on youtube i'll be happy to respond all right so i hope i've answered your questions i hope this was fun and valuable to you if you found value out of this video please give it a like thank you so much for the questions and i'll see you all in the next video